afternoon, wherever you are across the globe. So it's another exciting edition of a peep into the life of our father, Pastor E. Adiboy. Today is the seventh day. Yeah. Seven is such a strategic, specific number. It's wow. a perfect day. Okay. Yeah, it is actually a perfect day. And so you're welcome to a perfect day, a perfect day, a perfect day. I'm so excited this morning. And uh, yes, it's morning here. So if you're watching us all over the world, it may just be midnight or early morning. You are welcome, like Shia said. And it's going to be a beautiful time here on Dove Television. So we're going to have the social media segments and of course, we know that people are already sending their messages and if you want to be a part of this, kindly just go to all our social media platform on Facebook at Dove Television, tweet at Dove TV, watch us right now live on Instagram and just like us. So every time we come on air, you get a live notification that we are live and of course subscribe to us on YouTube. And not to worry, we also have a special guest here that will be unraveling some of the facts with us today. And of course, what do we expect, Ensworth? Yes, so right now we're going to be going into a praise and worship session led by our very own RCCG, Redeemed Christian Church of God Praise Team. Really? Yes. And this is fire for Jesus, actually. We actually read one of their... Uh, messages to to that did you wow. that means yes course, yes daddy true, loves very them. true i think it was on the yes, third day yes it was on the third daddy day. loves them and of course we we thank god like daddy will always say that <laughs> we have the best choir of course you know you know someone that loves praise we love the very good praise yes. so yes rcg praise team is an inspiring team they are a very good of praise so after the break our special guest will be here thank you You are the mighty God. 
Jesus. Oh, my glory, I session of thanksgiving to the glory of God and of course we are celebrating the life of our father an icon a leader a mentor <laughs> a, a, a foremost man mm -hmm. in our generation and we give God all the glory thank you praise team may your anointing never run dry in Jesus name like daddy Gio would say they are the best choir in the whole world mm -hmm. yes we are blessed to have you our CCG praise team God bless you all right like I said before we went on a break that we have a guest ladies Ladies and gentlemen, with Jesus joy, <laughs> I introduce my amazing, wonderful sister of God. Hello. Hi, Hi life. How are you doing today? Excellent. See nice. the drum roll. All for you. All for you. Thank you. Thank you look you. amazing. Thank you. You look beautiful. Too. Thank you. So you're you celebrating too. our father, right? Oh, yes. And I'm excited about that. Wow. Mm. Awesome. All right. So we're going into the facts for today. And you'll be giving hey. us some facts. Are you excited? I'm excited. I'm <laughs> ready. <laughs> All right. So the number one fact. Drum roll. Okay. Whenever Daddy Gio calls a Bible verse during sermon, he repeats it. Whenever Daddy Gio calls a Bible verse during sermon, he repeats it. Have you exactly. noticed that? Why oh, is yes. that? Every now and then. And I think it's just for 100% attention. Mm. Some might just get to miss it the first time. So repeating it, I mean... You would definitely, it would definitely sink. Right. It's into that. <laughs> like I've seen it over time yeah. that he repeats it and over and over again, he just keeps saying it. Like he would say, Matthew 517. Matthew 517. Yes. And it just keeps, like you said, it's for people to really mm -hmm. know that. People like us that when we are writing, you know now, <laughs> has it ever happened to you? Oh yes. And then you want to also remember, maybe you're trying to write um, the, the word and then, okay, yes, Bible verse, and yeah. you have to write it again. Yeah. You want to finish what you're writing before writing the Bible verse. So again. repeating it is just so much help. And I think for, it has helped a lot of pastors yes. in the Redeemed Christian Church yes. of God because yes. you want to be like your father. Yes, right? and they do the same thing yeah. now, right? And rushing and then calling a Bible verse and no one gets to write it. Yeah. Yes. All right, yes. so let's go to fact number two. Okay, fact number two. During altar call, Pastor Adeboye usually does not count the last number. Mm. I mean, during altar call counts. Really? He Have you noticed count. that? Oh, yes. Why, though? <laughs> I think, for, like you said, why, why do you think they do that? Why yeah, do they... It starts with um, one. one uh, and then, I can see you coming. I can uh, see you coming. Keep coming. Keep coming. Uh, two. And then, he says, it's going to count one to ten. Uh -huh. And then, it stops like seven. Uh -huh. Because I believe it by seven. You are not out. You want to give your life to Christ. You, you are not there. You are not there. You never think. <laughs> <laughs> like, you are still on You are not ready. <laughs> exactly. So, yeah. I mean, I think that's why he doesn't finish the last count. Because uh, he believes by now, you should have been on the altar. And, and he gives them benefits of that. Yes, you coming from the crowd. Keep coming. Yeah, keep, keep coming, coming. Keep coming. Keep yes. coming. Yes. And, and then, yes. If he counts 10, some will feel, okay, that's it. Let me go back. Uh, but when he stops at 7, he keeps saying, keep, keep coming, keep coming, and then he doesn't count 10. Oh. Yeah, to just encourage everyone to be out. Okay. That's one man that is very, very intentional, oh, yes. I tell you, and we are blessed to have him. All right, so fact number three. All right. 
Daddy Gio Aha, was <laughs> weaned at the age of four. Can you do that life? Even as I know that you are, you are a nursing mother. Mm, Sabrina. <laughs> Sabrina, um, my baby is 13 months now. Wow. And I can just imagine breastfeeding her for the next four years jesus i i feel like hugging mommy just mommy Mom now that is just mommy now like you are the best right really and then he's the last born anyway and what do you expect <laughs> like go to school and you can take back, it all and come back and come back and do all of that four years. yes and oh shout out God. to your daughter Oluwak Pamilaria, your oh. year with me. she's growing well very smart baby shout out and thank you too for taking care of her you and to God. the father how how can we even say thank you to you Without not saying thank you to your husband. I know, right? Don't you shout, do shout out for your husband right <laughs> thank now. Thank you. <laughs> all right. Shout out to all the mothers. It's not easy. It's not, it's not easy. Four years. Four good years. Oh my gosh, you tried. And, and that is a meal. I heard male children are very concerned. They, yes, they eat a lot. <laughs> and they suck a lot. Wow. Glory be to God. God bless. God all bless right. mommy. God, God bless mommy, mommy for us. Yes, The next yes. fact, you want to tell us that? Fact number four. Yes, fact number four. Daddy Gio wears his wristwatch inward. Mm. Like this. Not like what I'm wearing <laughs> like this. You know, Daddy Gio wears it inward. Mm, why do you That's think he true. wears it inward? So like, mm, I've seen him do like this sometimes. Mm. So may, I feel maybe um, he doesn't want it to be obvious. Like, okay, he's checking the time. Maybe. Maybe. But if you don't like this, mm, people may not know. Not really know what he's looking at. Yes. But like this, it will be obvious. Yeah. I believe. Yes, now, because <laughs> look at me right now. Like, I want to check the time and I'm doing like this. People will, you, mm, will okay, definitely know. The time. Yeah. But when he's inward, people may not know. I may just want to do like this and. And that is time conscious. Ah, yes, he is. That's a good At his fact. age, yeah. you know, he stands for one hour, mm. one hour, 30 minutes to minister. And some of us are already tired and are getting sick. And we sit and all we sleep, oh. We <laughs> sleep and sit. Some people sleep. Oh, God, have you mercy. You know, there was a time, oh, God, have mercy on me. There was a time, eh, that day I was so tired and daddy was preaching in between, like, Father, have mercy on me. Because look at this man. He's not sleeping. He's standing. He's and when we are sitting, we are relaxed. Oh, my God. And when it's time for us to pray, that will say... Sometimes we feel reluctant to even stand mm -hmm. and pray. Uh -huh. God help us. And he's God standing, at, God even at his age. God, God bless him in Jesus' name. Amen. All right, the next fact. Uh, number five. The first Holy Ghost Congress of the Redeemed Christian Church of God was held at Elisha, or Shrew State, hmm. in 1977. Wow. wow. In 1977, I thought... Seven, where were you? Eh? <laughs> <laughs> like you, you call me. Where were you? <laughs> I guess, like Shayo said, oh sometimes like, when I asked him, I said, Where were you at this time? I said, We were just in heaven enjoying ourselves. I'm sure we were roaming around. Like, uh, who's going to bring us to this world? To this <laughs> I, I wish we used to choose our parents. I know, right? <laughs> Daddy, I'm coming to you. Coming Mommy, to you. I'm coming to you right there. But you see, the truth is God has kept mm. us in different families for signs and oh, wonders. Yes. Oh, yes. And all thanks to God. But oh, 1977, God. that's a very, very long time. Yeah. The first Holy Ghost Congress. I think, yeah, the Holy this the last Holy Ghost Congress was 60 what? 69. 69. I believe. So for the past 69, 69 years, we've been having God the, has been faithful. Literally, some people, I, I was thinking it was lucky 98. Same here. But now. Yeah, same here. No. But like in idea was what brought out the Congress. Yes, I guess. and it was. W were was, you there? I was there, life and direct. But you were very young. I was very young. Uh -huh. We even missed the road because <laughs> we are coming from Washington State. Wow. Yeah. So, was that where you grew up? Yes. Oh, Ifewara. Ilefe. Ilefe. Oh, you're still even there. I thought it's even Ifewara. Ife. So I grew up in Ife. So, you know, I remember that day vividly, you know, we came out the way and we missed the bad beach side. That was our first time wow. in Lagos and everything. But it was wonderful. It, wow. was, it was wonderful. Wow. We blessed God for that. I wish I was there too. But then I was there last. You know, <laughs> good for you all. And then we were in the north and I was very young, by the way, very, very young. Like I put the very, very young. Don't ask me of my age. <laughs> Don't bother. All right. Give us the next fact. Okay. Fact number six. The last place they lived before moving to redemption camp was Afisi in Mushin, Afisi. Lagos. Yeah. Afisi Street. Afisi Street in, in Mushin, Lagos. Like, see where God has brought him from. And like they always say that don't allow your background to put you on, to put your back yes, on, the, on ground. the ground. Because who 
would ever believe? Mushin, wow. And also it's been said that your environment affects you. But really, mm. you can live a good life. You might not be opportuned mm. to have a good environment mm. at your early age. Mm. But knowing within yourself that you are more than this environment, mm. it will definitely help you and push you mm. for more. Mm. We grew up, you know, so when we go back to Lagos, we grew up at, um, we call it Con City now. <laughs> Where's that? And by the Jai. Uh -uh, Con City, to... <laughs> come on. See the thing now, Con <laughs> City. <laughs> but it's like, by the Jai. Uh -huh. Like, yeah, you're way to Songo and all that. Wow. But you know, when you see the environment, you'll be like, people from here cannot be amount to anything. But hey, here I am. Hallelujah. You know, so not really affect, not, not really you are allowing your environment to, to affect, affect you. you. Just it's a mindset. Mm. Your parents might not really have it all that and you're managing somewhere. But have it in your mind that you're going places. Mm. You are more than this. Mm. And God who has started with you will never leave nor forsake you. No. See our father in the Lord. Mushi. Now we are celebrating him worldwide. Mm. The Come whole on. world. Come the whole on. world is celebrating him. Come That's on. so true. And, to know, and, and I heard that uh, it was a one room at the parlor, yes. at the sitting room. And with children. So literally, we don't have any excuse mm -hmm. to, should I use the word misbehave? That's we it. don't have any excuse. But once you know that, okay, God has a glorious place for me, you hold on to that. Yes. Something, is, something keeps you going. Yes, yeah. Something, that's, what it, that's what happened to our Father and the Lord. The word of God kept him going like, I'm with you. I will be with you. I will not mm. forsake mm. you. But why would you lose yourself and, and, when and you know that you have a great future? And look right now. That's mm. it. And you bless just heard God. from life. Oh, bless God. Oh, bless God. She is she's bless a God. bundle of success, I tell you. To and, God be the glory. Uh, I'm glad you're sitting here with us. <laughs> Don't God. allow your background to no. put your back on no. the ground. I no. mean, it shouldn't make you misbehave. Mm -hmm. Very important. Mm -hmm. Daddy came from Mushi. Oof. He's now owning a city. I mean. Redemption Camp is a city. I mean. And he has key to nations. Mm. That's it. Bingo. All right. So you want to give us the seven facts before ooh, we go ooh, to the social ooh, media segment? Go on. Fact fact seven. Number seven. Ooh. His major instrument of worship is a tambourine. <laughs> Let somebody <laughs> shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. <laughs> Somebody do it to Somebody. <laughs> Let somebody shout <laughs> hallelujah. Right, right. <laughs> Always with him. And he has different colors. Different goes with his colors. Different outfits. You're right. Ah, You're Daddy right, wears a blue. You see it with a blue. Uh, a yellow. White. Blue. See it? He it's has a white tambourine. Right. He has yellow. I can I mean, imagine his, colors. the storehouse of tambourine <laughs> in his house. But Ooh. that's so beautiful to know that our mm. Father on the Lord, God has blessed him and he's still blessing Amen. him. Hallelujah. All right. So do you want, what's your major instrument of tambourine before we even go on the social media segments, Brent? Yes, for me, it's tambourine too. Yes. Uh, uh, copy, mean. copy. <laughs> Anyways, he's your father. What do you expect? All right. A last word before we go on the social media segments. All right. A last word to everybody. We have the best father. Mm. <laughs> and... I'm privileged I'm not just reading about him. Mm -hmm. I can see him. Mm. You know, sometimes when we are trying to refer back to someone mm -hmm. and we bring out a book and, and we're like, oh, yeah, how many years ago? But this is somebody that is living mm. among us. A living legend. A, li is a living legend, a living testimony. Someone we can refer to and we can see. see in we our can, time. We can see in our time. And so What's one blessed. thing you love about Daddy then? Daddy! Mm. Consistency. Ah. Yeah. Daddy is daddy in Nigeria. Wow. Daddy is daddy in the UK. Wow. Daddy is daddy in, in Australia. Wow. Daddy is the same. Yesterday. Today. <laughs> <laughs> daddy but is Jesus consistent. Is and we bless God wow. for the grace. Wow. Sabrina, it is grace. Yes. To get to this level, it is grace. Yes. Because some are not even up to this level and they're gone. They, they lost focus. Mm. But we thank God for the focus. We thank Hallelujah. God for grace. And we thank God for that, you know, holiness and which consistency. is word, actually. Thank, thank God. you, Lady Live. Thank you so Oye much for having for me. Coming on air. Thank you and so God much for having me. And God bless you and keep your family Amen. from glory to glory in Jesus' Amen. name. All right, baby. You Thanks, wanna baby. Do
Cha! A sisterhood. <laughs> Thank All you for having right, me. ladies and gentlemen, I'll be speaking with, I call her the Lady Life. You can actually see that she's dressed as a lady. Anyways, <laughs> okay. Lady Life for you with me all the way. All right, we're quickly going into the social media segment with Iyanu Akindayomi. Stand and bar. We'll be right back. Stay tuned. Welcome to day seven. Well, this is the social media segment again. My name is Iyanu Akindayomi. Wow, it's been a journey. Day one and today seven. Well, we still have day eight there. So stay still tuned to your social media platform. And I'm going to be here again like I do to always read your messages. Well, for today's question, and that's for day seven, is what is Pastor E.A. Adeboye passionate about? Well, I think this is going to be like an obvious question. We all know what that is you is passionate about. Well, we're going straight to the social media segment to read some of your comments on what you guys think about Daddy Geo. Well, our first platform for today is our Facebook platform. And this is from Ade Doku Idara. And it's saying his passion is about soul winning. He wants hell to be depopulated and heaven full. God bless our daddy. And this is from Helen Halliday saying his passion is soul winning. Ajike Jesus Stambe is saying souls, heaven at last. Happy birthday to you, Daddy. Thank you for your obedience to the heavenly vision where I for day. Hmm. Hallelujah to Jesus to that. Anyway, still on Facebook, we have Olufumilayo saying, So winning, living a life of holiness, finishing well and strong humility. Also, Temitakwe Oladu Joy is saying, So winning is his desire daily and living holy till the end. Daddy, you will not fail or fail in Jesus' name. Congratulations, real papa. Afolabi Olaoye is saying, Daddy, Daddy, Adeboye is full of holiness, humility, worthy of emulation. God bless at Pastor E.A. Adeboye. God bless you, Daddy. Anyways, we're still going on, and this is from Princess Mercy saying, um, dodginess is expanding the kingdom here on earth by planting of service center. More grace upon you, Daddy. Long life and prosperity. Yes, there's no place you go to in Nigeria, outside the world. Like mentioned, you always see like churches, like the redeemed Christian Church of God everywhere, planting every churches in every nation. Anyways, Olukemi is saying, Baba loves God and loves to win sinners for God. Yes, our own, our own Mika is saying, 
Our daddy is passionate about soul winning and holiness. There's no better way to just explain what daddy Gio's passion is about, like soul winning and holiness. Tunde by saying, souls, church growth, compassion for others, mommy Gio, you, um, us, us is spiritual children, <laughs> Pounded Yam and Egusi, and this is on our Twitter platform. Well, um, souls, church growth, and everything. The Pounded Yam and Egusi, I think that's that, uh, one of daddy's favorite dish. Anyway, still on our Twitter platform. This is from Peace Ajoke. It's saying, Holiness and the kingdom of God. John is also saying, Passion for souls more than any man I've seen in Nigeria. Hmm. Well, that's a very strong comment right there. And this is from Christine saying, More souls. Winning and to the end and to end well with Christ. Lekon is saying, Baba will make utter call in Asorok if given just five minutes to pray over dinner. So, so, so. Yes, God, Jiwagon is saying, is passionate about soul winning for the kingdom. Also, next, moving on to our last social media platform for today is. Um, Instagram platform and this is from the Ankara brand and it's saying also saying so winning. Chioma is also saying so winning for Jesus. Um, TG Fabrics also saying so winning. Uh, Royal Foom is also saying so winning, making history like record breaking, start breaking records. Oyinda Mola is also saying so winning and Paul is also saying souls. There's no day that a geo preaches or ministers is always calling altar calls like he's always making altar calls like from um like what you heard from sabrina that's one thought about him there's no day he doesn't make altar call i want you like you just tell me the days he comes on the altar and doesn't make altar call no i'm waiting for you tell me when don't worry tomorrow is day eight so i want to see the day he doesn't make altar call anyways timile yoluwa is saying holiness and soul winning um um Associates is saying so when his priest Adelic officials also saying so when it. Anyways, that is it for today on our social media platform. Tomorrow is day eight, and there are still some things to unfold about our father in the Lord, Pastor Enoch Adejari Adeboy. Don't miss day eight. Tomorrow is the last day. You all should not miss it. I'm begging you so you can get more, more things to know about Daddy Gio if you don't know about him. Anyway, stay glued to all social media platforms, Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. My name still remains Ianu Akin Dayomi. And tomorrow, hope to see you all tomorrow. Have a lovely day. Sabrina and Shia, over to you. Amazingly well, and thank you to all our social media platforms Facebook, Instagram. Tomorrow, like you heard from Iyanu, tomorrow is the last day, and we have a gift. The lines will be open for you tomorrow, so stay glued to Dove Television. On that note, let's go on a quick musical break, and when we come back, I have Shia already. We'll be right back. What an amazing session with life for your Wumi. So yeah, we're going to be taking the three facts in quick succession. The fact number eight says that Pastor Adeboye's personal assistant is his son, Leke Adeboye. In case you didn't know that it's about to get personal. Yeah. Fact number nine says in 2005, oh, the man with the plenty keys. I know, right? Pastor Adeboye received a honorary citizenship and key of Dallas, Texas, USA. Again, another key. Yes, wow. another key, Sabrina. That's amazing. Then fact number 10, what do we have there? Fact number 10, Pastor Adeboye's biological daughter is Pastor Mrs. Bolu Adubi. Wow, that's amazing. Yes. Wow, we had to do that. And she's so beautiful. Yes. She looks like she's a combination of daddy and mommy. And mommy. <laughs> <laughs> I think all the children, they yes, look they have, is a combination of daddy of and mommy. And it just shows how daddy Joe and mommy Joe look like each other. They do actually. Yes. They do actually. And of course, daddy has another key. Dallas. Man, all these kids. Well, Dallas is very big. Very massive. Dallas, Texas. Very massive. I think it's one of the big... No, it's not. It's not actually. It's New York. So Dallas is one of the 
Yeah, when you're thinking... Dallas about, is, yeah, one of the yeah, biggest spaces. Yeah, and there are a lot of Nigerians there. Yes. yes. But when you want to find Nigeria, go to Atlanta, Georgia. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, that's our community. Of course. Yes, it's been so good. And to know that daddy's um, son is also his personal assistant, amazing. And a shout out to Pastor Lua Gbemileke. He likes it. My when pastor. You, really? Shout out to you. Please do your shout out to your pastor. <laughs> My pastor. The bridge that is the son of the bridge. Oh, yeah. That pastors the bridge, the bridge of bridges. Wow. <laughs> there are no bus stops on the bridges. Ooh. Shout out to you, Pastor. Yes, we love you, Pastor. And of course, we're using this time out to say thank you all so much for joining us for today. Tomorrow, hey, you don't want to miss tomorrow. Tomorrow is the 80th fact, day eight. And we're celebrating our Father and the Lord, the General of Asia. Tomorrow, you will see us like no other. Uh, we have so many things in gang, store. Gang, gang, gang. It's a gang gang thing. <laughs> so stay glued to Dove Television. It may just be 11. It may just be 12. It may just be 1 p.m. Just stay glued to Dove Television because we are coming live. And we're having gifts to, um, for people. We have gifts for our caller, callers tomorrow. So you have an opportunity to call in. And it's first come, first serve, if you like. And we have questions so go and watch from day one to day seven that's today on our social media platform on facebook and of course on youtube and don't forget to download the oh prime tv on your phone all right until we come your way again a big shout out to of course our social media segment hostess yanu and of course our special guest for today lady life are here with me god bless you in jesus name we are coming in with a bang with a bang with a bang with a bang give me a chop knuckle to my brother yeah, we are coming in live tomorrow. Stay tuned. And to everyone, we love you. Keep staying and enjoying the presence of God. My name is Sabrina Osman. And I am Olushaya Orodele. God bless you. Bye. Bye.